Hello and welcome back to Marketing Platter, where you learn or review marketing concepts in easy to understand language using practical examples. This video explains how to forecast demand in different business situations using Excel. You will learn it in such a way that your basic concepts of demand forecasting will get stronger. This video will prepare you to learn further concepts in marketing analytics especially those related to pricing and profit maximization. At the end of the video, you can press thumbs up and may subscribe this channel for checking out more videos of marketing concepts in easy to understand language. Before we go any further, let's first see what we will discuss in this video. We will first learn how to forecast demand using two price points and then using more than two price points. Demand forecasting in such situations will help us in learning about different types of demand curves like linear, power, polynomial, logarithmic and exponential demand curves. Don't get overwhelmed. These are all easy to understand. And the most important point is that we will learn all this using bare minimum of jargons so that anyone who doesn't have any background of demand price relationship can also forecast demand in different real life situations. As you are aware, the focus of this channel is to explain marketing concepts in easy to understand language so that you can understand marketing concepts and apply them practically. We will begin by understanding how to forecast demand when we have just two price points. You can now open a new Excel sheet or use any other similar spreadsheet software. If you want to use this Excel sheet, you may take it from the location mentioned in the video description below. This is an example of a company producing personal computers. Demand of a PC at this company is 600 when the price is $2,000. This demand reduces to 200 when the price is increased to $6,000. The marketing manager wants to forecast demand within these two price points. You can write this information in the Excel sheet as price of 2000 and 6000 in one column and demand of 600 and 200 in the second column. Now select all this text and click on insert tab. Select scatter chart. It is this chart where you see insert scatter x, y or bubble chart. Click on this. Click the first one. This will give a chart like this. And you will also see that there is a new tab which is chart tools with sub tabs of design and format. Under this design tab, you will have an option of switching row and column. Click on this and the chart will change to something like this where you see two dots. Click on any one of these dots. Right click on this and select add trend line. As you will see in the format trend line options, the default option of linear graph is actually selected. Let it remain like this. In the options, select display equation on chart. You will see the equation of this line on the chart, which is y is equal to minus 0.1x plus 800. Now we will use this equation to forecast demand in our situation. For this, write price in brackets x, then write demand in brackets y. In the cell adjacent to price x, write one of these prices, let us say 2000. For demand, we will write a formula which shows this equation as is equal to minus. 0.1 multiplied by x. Now here our x is in this cell which is B8 our price then plus 800. Press enter and here we get the same demand. If we change this price to 6000 we will get demand as 200. Remember that this equation is valid for values between this range only. Even though Excel can show you demand for practically any value of price. Let's move to next example. In this example, there is one change as marked in the blue text. Here, the marketing manager also understands that the demand follows a power function instead of linear function. In a power function, the percentage change in demand with 1% change in price remains constant. Using management jargons, we can say that the price elasticity remains same at all points in such demand curves that follow power function. This is more realistic and practical than a linear demand curve. The marketing manager wants to forecast demand that follows such a power function in this case. For this, right click on the trend line of the graph and select format trend line. From the options, select power. 
So you will now see that the equation of trend line also changes, but it becomes difficult to understand. Click on the equation of the line to change its number format. Go to label options. Click on label options. And here we get number category. Change this to number. Remove this thousand separator. And since we have kept these decimal places at as 2, that's why the equation of the line comes out to be like this. So here our equation of the line comes out to be y is equal to 12 followed by 5 zeros multiplied by x raised to the power minus 1. Now we will use this equation to forecast our demand in this case. For this, we will change our formula in cell B9 is equal to 12 followed by 5 zeros multiplied by x which is in cell B8 to power minus 1. Press enter and we will get this demand as 600. And if we change our price to 6000, our demand will be 200. Now as in the earlier case, even here, this demand function can give us demand only between these two price points which is 2000 and 6000. Using power function, let's move to the next example. In this example, we have many price points available from historical records of the company. This happens very often in many product categories where some past data is available and no drastic changes are expected in the market. The marketing manager wants to forecast demand in this situation for the company. For this, we will select the data and from the insert tab, we select the scatter chart just like we did earlier. But here we do not have to switch row and column. Click on one of the points and click on add trend line. We will get different options. Of course, the default option is linear equation and as we can see that the linear equation doesn't actually fit our data. So in this case, we will try out different options. We will first try out the exponential option. So the exponential trend line doesn't really fit our data. We have already checked the linear. We'll check the next one, which is logarithmic. Logarithmic trend line also does not fit our data. We'll check the next one, which is polynomial. The default is order two. As we can see, this one actually fits our data almost correctly. But we'll again check next option, which is power option. So if we see power option also doesn't fit our data. We have another option, which is moving average, which is something that we'll discuss in a later video. This is not applicable for this particular situation because for moving average, we actually need lot of price points. So we select this and use this for forecasting demand in this case. Check the display equation also on the chart. And as you can see, we will not be able to understand this display equation. So again, we will format the labels. We click on this. The last one in label options is number category. We will change it to number. As we can see, one of the values is coming out to be 0, 0.00. So this means we will increase the decimal places to the point that we will get something which is not equal to 0. With 5 decimal points, we get something which is not equal to 0. Let us try and use this equation for forecasting demand. So against price, we will just try 2000. And for demand, we will use this equation, which is, is equal to minus 0 0.00003 multiplied by our price which is in cell b11 here raised to the power 2 plus 0 0.11995 multiplied by our price x plus 467.5434 press enter as you can see demand is coming as not exact 600 here we should remember two things one is this particular curve does not fit all of our points exactly as it should point number two is that if we can increase the decimal values here we will get better estimation of our demand let us try and increase these decimal points here if we click on format trend line label and increase this decimal places to 7, press enter. And then if we use this new equation to forecast demand. Our value is more closer to 600. Similarly, if we increase the decimal points, we will get better estimation of our demand. But please remember, this is not the exact estimation. But yes, using this polynomial equation, we can still get a more realistic picture of the demand curve. In summary, we have understood demand forecasting 
with two price points as well as many price points from the historical data. Using three examples, we predicted the demand in three situations for different types of demand curves like linear demand curve, power demand curve, polynomial demand curve, logarithmic demand curve and exponential demand curve. This knowledge of demand forecasting would help you in handling more complex business situations of real life, especially for pricing optimization. That we will discuss in a later video. If you like this video, show thumbs up and share this video. For knowing more about marketing related videos, why don't you subscribe this channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. Please give your suggestions for making new videos for explaining marketing concepts in an easy to understand language and using relevant examples. Do give your comments for this video. Have a good day. Thank you.